we've got for the most part, the equipment that the kids are going to be working on at EB or out on the job site, they've got unbelievable 3D printers. We actually, our kids at Platt Tech actually built a part that is up on the space station right now. You know, it's just a point of pride, you know, so, uh, you know, a regular LEA can't invest that type of money. The state of Connecticut has invested that money for us. And um, what we want to do is find more creative ways to get more kids in. So we look at it as, you know, kids who didn't come to us in the ninth grade for whatever reason, either you didn't get accepted, one, or two, maybe you didn't know how valuable career tech ed was when you were a seventh and eighth grader. Your parents didn't know that, you know, this is an opportunity for you to be making $75,000 a year as an 18-year-old in, in Ari. I'm not kidding. We've got kids walking out of our building with their diplomas last week that are starting on, you know, with $70,000 a year jobs, you know, here in Connecticut in manufacturing and in welding, you know, so families maybe didn't know about that, you know, so this is a second bite at the apple for a lot of the kids and the families to say, geez, let me, you know, let me rethink this. So what, what we do is our these kids can still stay at their home high school, take all their academics there and come to us either in the afternoon or after school and get some career tech uh, ed. So we're going to pick some um, strategic uh, trades that we know uh, the, the business and industry is banging on the door for more kids, um, and we're going to try to get them into this kind of second shift. And we had a lot of success with Meriden and, and uh, Principal B or uh, Superintendent uh, and Meriden was a great partner there, and obviously – Former Commissioner Cardona helped me broker that coming from, a, you know, coming, you know, we had a great opportunity because Miguel, Commissioner Cardona, was one of our graduates at Wilcox Tech, and he was, you know, he came from Meriden Public Schools, and, uh, you know, now we all know he's, he's our Secretary of Education uh, nationally, but we were able to broker that connection for the first time in Meriden, and it really has been great. So we're going to be doing it in Groton. Uh, next year, we're looking to go to Waterbury and Manchester as well, uh, where we can offer more opportunities in these manufacturing clusters for kids in the local high schools to come uh, get that. And, and this will help us better meet the, you know, the, the coming demand, the, the, the rising uh, tide of uh, need for, for manufacturing in Connecticut.